The Governor-General will officially swear in Scott Morrison's coalition ministry at Government House this morning. There are a total of 28 new Liberal and National MPs in the 46th Parliament. There will be several changes in the Cabinet. Demoted Minister Melissa Price moving from the Environment Portfolio to Defence Industry. The Coalition Party Room yesterday met in Canberra for the first time since their historic election win. The Prime Minister told his colleagues it was their job to burn for Australia every single day. Parliament's expected to open in the first week of July with the government's income tax cuts high on the agenda. A rock star reception for the government's miracle man. Well, welcome back, everyone. Scott Morrison calling for humility in the first coalition party room meeting since the election. It is our job to govern humbly for this nation. Telling his colleagues to stay focused on the people that put them there. If we keep our focus on them, we will always stay true to the values that we hold dear as Liberal and Nationals uh, in this party room. He acknowledged members no longer sitting in that room. I want to thank Tony Abbott for his service to our party and to our nation. Before welcoming fresh additions, 28 new members and senators. Hey, the coalition will meet again in just over a month, with the Prime Minister eyeing off a return to Parliament in the first week of July. Thank you. See you all in the first week of July, if not before. Stressing the need for the government to deliver on its election commitments, Scott Morrison said there are 67 coalition MPs who have only ever sat in government. The Prime Minister telling his colleagues that they would never want to serve in the wasteland of opposition. That as Anthony Albanese looks to lead Labor out of the political wilderness. We lost the election. We need to talk to people who have worked hard for us for the cause of Labor. But we also need to talk to people who want to devote Labor but who chose not to. Labor's leader-elect with this message for MPs and unsuccessful candidates. I'm sorry on behalf of the leadership of the Labor Party that we let you down by not getting the outcome that we wanted in this election. Beginning a post-election listening tour in the Sunshine State, which swung to the coalition. It's no accident I'm here in Queensland as my first stop. Anthony Albanese admits Bill Shorten's policies hurt Labor's electoral chances. The party now all set for a policy reset before 2022. James O'Doherty, Sky News, Canberra.